Hey everybody, Texas Stroke here, Lance's Performance Shop, LonestarMopar.com. It is Monday night, a little after 9 p.m. <laughs> Been a heck of a day, not gonna lie. I started out in the back of a reefer truck, unloading stuff that was too wide. If you didn't know, uh, turns out reefer trailers are slightly narrower compared to your standard trailer, so uh, learning things the hard way. Uh, it involved six lengths of chain, fork extensions, and dragging. And then, uh, past that, shelved a ton of motors, all kinds of crazy stuff. But, uh, finally got home, had supper, and I wanted to get this cranked out. I'm excited to use it. want to know if I want to, like, expand or, you know, splurge or, uh, kick it to the wayside type of a thing. And what we will be looking at is going to be a two-part video, basically. We're going to throw everything down, tell you what it is, get you, get your impressions of it loose. And then we're going to put it to use and kind of see it in a real-world scenario. Instead of bringing stuff to the bench, it made sense to me just go to the toolbox where the things are going to be. So uh, what we're dealing with, since I don't use clickbait, you already know by the title and thumbnail, it's Toolganizer. This all stems back to uh, late last year when I finally started pulling the trigger on uh, organization stuff, you know, for the tools and the toolboxes. Still going. Uh, granted, you're seeing videos that I recorded back in the winter, but I'm still here and I'm still buying things, trying to test everything, literally, and see what we like best, see why we like it, see if something that we like in this instance is really good across the board, but there's something better for instance X type of a situation, and that's sort of where we stand. So. Uh, first thing first, timestamps, I use them. If you want to get right to the freaking item in the toolbox, the payoff, if you will, you can do that. Uh, you can skip it around to whatever benefits you and your time. Alpha gloves, they're on my hand. 20% off with the discount code Lone Star. I make nothing, just trying to get you set up with some good gloves. So, going with the alpha theme, though, seems like a nice segue for this. Uh, Toolganizer, I would have to say... Out of all the tool organization stuff, probably one of the least known. I mean, you got to got to go down some rabbit holes. Got to be super into this stuff, right? Uh, it's not going to be like readily available, you know, like your, you know, cliche socket trays or, you know, wrench racks or the magnetic stuff that the tool guy sells you. And that's in part because this is sort of like a small family business. Everything's uh, cranked out, I believe. I know it's somewhere in Florida. I'm not sure on the town. Uh, Port, Port St. Lucie, <laughs> coming by the packing slip there. So that's what it is. is if you're like, well, it just looks like it's 3D printed. Well, it is, and uh, that's what they do. Uh, so far, so good. I've played around with some of this stuff. It's fairly reasonable. It depends how you want to look at it, what you're accustomed to. Uh, but like I said, some of you just may not be aware that this exists, and if you are, maybe you've forgotten about it or you haven't seen it in use. So. Uh, I did contact them, and what I contacted them about is not trying to get stuff for free. Uh, they make some battery mounts. You know, if you're thinking like hanging your power tools or storing your batteries, right? And they have them, you know, for all the popular brands. They don't have them for Hercules. And it was something the guy said he was kind of wanting to do, hadn't really had time. They're super busy. And uh, it was like X amount of lead time. He'd get back to me. Um, still may happen. Maybe we'll get to bring some of that stuff in. But my thoughts were like, you know, I really want to get this stuff. They had a sale. If you follow them on Instagram, uh, you will sometimes find that they've got sales. I think there's one going now, Christmas in July. I'm not sure when you'll see this, but just be aware. If you check them out, you're like, man, I really want to get that. If you can hold out, you know, three to four weeks, there's probably going to be some type of a promotion if you're patient. So if you want to save a little cash, always keep that in mind. Uh, otherwise, they've been pretty good with, like, the main holidays even, so... You know, got Labor Day coming up, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Black Friday, all that stuff. But uh, New Year's organization, right? <laughs> so uh, if you just keep it on mind, keep it on your wish list and plan ahead, you can save some cash. But uh, let's get kind of right down to what you're looking at. It is lime green. I picked this. Why? Well, Stavilla. That's why. I also thought it would work with SK. I don't think he has like a dark green. And so I was thinking, yeah, I got a little, quite a few 3.8 Stavillas. We'll just roll with this. The way this would work, this little cube here, there's going to be a little square. Drive hole right here, that's going to be where your anvil plugs in. Flip side, you can see each one has opposing magnets on two corners of the square. And then if you're like, well, what in the heck is that Batman stuff? Well, this is just kind of designed to hold the handle. So in theory, let's say that you had 
four 3H drive ratchets in varying lengths, or even maybe the same length and it's standard versus flex head type of a deal. You would come in and you would just have this laid out. Each one of these V, there's four of these as well, would correspond with one of these. You're home free. That's really all there is to it. Uh, one second, I'm going to see what's going on outside. I've got a fan running. I don't know if you heard that, but I mean, it's like dark outside, dusk, whatever you want to call it. I work. I actually work. I seem to be in the minority. And uh, this is a little small rant on the neighborhood out here. And there's people that, like, I don't know how they have this disposable income, but they constantly renovate their house. They add pools. They all have boats and RVs. Uh, and then their kids, like, as a little kid, man, I would have loved to have had a go-kart. <laughs> like, these people have go-karts, they've got four-wheelers, they've got dirt bikes, they've got, like, I mean, enough for, like, friends can come over and they all ride them. And I don't live in a, a ritzy little neighborhood or anything. I mean, it's like, good lord. <laughs> so, it was like holy thunder out there, you know, I was like, man, you know, it was like, I didn't know if, like, a friend was pulling, it kind of sounded like a Harley, you know. And I think, I don't know if a parent was actually out with one of their kids, but it's bizarre. So my apologies there if you hear that crud in the background to see their fireworks or something crazy. <laughs> so, and yes, it's, it's been uh, about a month since Independence Day. But uh, So that is that setup. This right here is just what they call a V-style tool holder. Uh, it's essentially this minus that, and you can do a number of things with them. Uh, we could come in and we could, you know, lay extensions across them. We could run... Uh, screwdrivers, files, magnetic pickup tools. Uh, the sky is kind of the limit with these. Now they're going to showcase a lot better out of this plastic. <laughs> so I guess it is nice they put them in plastic, I guess, so they don't take on shipping damage or anything, but it is what it is. Uh, you're going to be looking at $12.99 for these, and that's, yeah, that's a little steep. But again, if you have a particular thing in mind and these work, well, you're home free, right? Uh, on the green, lime green, I should say, uh, ratchet system, that is going to be $18.99. So keep that one in mind. Up next, we're going to stick with our blue theme here. And you guessed it, we have to have a screwdriver organizer. And if you're thinking, like, what is going on here? This is not what I expected to see. Well, first thing first, price point is $13.99. If I come in here and we grab a little Philo, that is how these are designed, right? So it's kind of the same thing you accomplish with other uh, screwdriver holders. It's just a situation where these are going to lay down like this. That's the shaft, the majority of it's going to be cradled. Percentage of the handle. I can tell you I've played with this one as well. The Philos fit really well. If you get into some of the bulb style or trilobe handles, you might have some issues. So, case in point, we'll grab a T20 here, and it actually fits really well. And you're like, well, that's, that's perfect, you know. Well, <laughs> if you're like, I'm going to put my torch drivers in one of these. Well, this is the big one, the T40 in the set. And it technically kind of goes, but it doesn't really seat in it, if you kind of catch my drift. So it's all kind of going to be dependent on what you're wanting to put in it and how it's going to all lay out and orient. Anything small, like these PB Swiss, right? I mean, it's going to fit great. That gives you more flexibility moving things up and down. There goes the rolling. I mean, see what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, like from a distance with a fan going, you're like, I've got friends that randomly show up. But then it's like, wait, that's not a car. <laughs> you're like... Well, you know, who could it be on the bike? And then it's just a bunch of, like, kids that, you know, are uninsured, unlicensed, and on non-street legal vehicles without insurance and no headlights. And, yeah, they, they don't have to go to work, right? And apparently their parents don't either, but they've got money somehow. <laughs> All that aside, uh, if we come in and we continue our little clip here, this is something that's actually, like... When I ordered this, which wasn't that long ago, this was like brand new. I think they made it, but they hadn't like officially put it on the website. This is what we're looking at. And if you're thinking like, okay, that looks like a wrench holder or something along those lines, that's exactly correct. I don't know that you can see it too well there, but this is designed for stubby wrenches. And if you could see it, which I'll zoom in in a little bit, it's actually got size markings that are raised up right there. $13.99 is the price. We'll take a look at that. I think you can sort of tell there's numbers there, but while I've got this little packing slip, I want to go ahead and get this. 
This item might be the one I'm the most excited about because there's something where I know this is going to work. I have the exact number of items and if I like it, uh, it's a situation where I can then buy it for other sizes. So uh, what am I talking about? I'm talking about this right here. This is going to be the magnetic extension set. Uh, this is a four slot and half inch drive. It is $15.99. Now I can tell you right now, if there's any of this stuff that you're kind of interested in, they do have like standalone. Uh, so let's say that this holds your six drivers, but you've got a seven piece set. They do make them uh, that should mate up with this. I can't vouch a hundred percent obviously because I don't have one, but I think it would just kind of continue building. Most of the time they have like the magnets built in when you go solo. Same thing with this, like if you've got eight half inch drive extensions, you can extend them this way if your drawer is wide enough you can have four here four there if you're super anal about stuff and you've got like your stubby here and then you've got a three inch and then you've got a 10 inch and you've got an 18 inch super strange assortment i'll be the first to admit but that's what you have and you wanted this support system like all the way maybe nine inches and then all the way at the end of the 18 I think you can get that individually as well, or you could just kind of buy two of these and replicate it. Kind of the sky is the limit, really, what it comes down to, but uh, this is it. This is all that I picked up, believe it or not, because again, I've never used it, not familiar with it, first-hand basis, that is. I wanted to bring it in, see what I thought of it, test it out, which is what we're about to do, and then decide, hey, you know, these are awesome. I want to buy a ton of them. Uh, thought this would be good, but it kind of sucked. Uh, this is good for X drivers, but not the rest of them type of a deal. And that way, it's the same thing I would advise you to do. If you're like, oh, this is going to be great. And you're going to go buy like, you know, 20, 20 extension holders, right? And you've got all your color coding and your size designations figured out. Don't do that. <laughs> I want you to buy from Tool Organizer. I want you to be happy. But just start with one, you know, bring in the one that you're the most intrigued with. See if you like it and make sure it works. Maybe test out some other stuff. Then go back with your big order. That's just smart practice across the board. If you were to come in and be like, man, these are awesome. I'm going to buy like 30 of those. I'm going to finally organize all my screwdrivers and hex drivers. It's going to be sweet. And you get them and none of your handles really fit well. Like you're going to be disappointed. So don't spend all the money and then have to deal with returns. Just get one, see if it works, and then proceed on, right? Uh, so people do not mind repeat customers, right? Especially when it's like, hey, you know, I tried this out. I love this stuff. That is a good thing. You're not doing any harm there. So uh, be conscious of your wallet is basically what I'm trying to say. Uh, with that said, I guess we'll just kind of hop around and uh, sort of see what we like. Now, obviously, this is what I've done. That's why there's an assortment of things here. If I like these, these will definitely be coming in. This could potentially displace some toolbox widgets. Uh, this, I kind of have a few things in mind. I don't know if it's going to work really well. And then this one is also something that we could spend some money on. Uh, it just sort of depends, again, like your setup, if you want the size markings, all that stuff. And speaking of that, last thing we're going to do here, <laughs> this is kind of customized, you know, something I spec'd out. You've got 3 8 7 16 half, 9 16 5 8 11 16 and 3 quarter. And if you come in with a Sharpie, you know, we should be able to kind of color that and make it a little bit more visible. If I can find my uh, dulled tipped one, uh, I'll see if I can do that as well. So I'm going to set some stuff up. We'll run to some toolboxes and we'll see what these do. All right. So here we are. We're at the Master Tech, the US General Master Tech, where we kind of have all of our impact stuff currently set up, right? We've got the Mechanic Time Savers. We've got Ernst. And if you're like, yeah, you're going to need some extensions with those. Well, I thought the same thing. So currently, this is what we've got. I've had to move some things you can't see yet. This is toolbox widget. Case in point, if I grab these, you're going to see your orange indicator. Something's missing. It's the long extension. I've got these sort of as spacers so I don't ram this into the edge. Uh, I've done some weird things where I've got kind of like one of these spacers, which I don't use near as many as you get. But, you know, I do things with them, you know, where like this would lay down flat and kind of at an angle by me positioning that spacer, I can sort of keep it up. But if I tilt you way up here, you're like, oh, there was way more real estate there. And that is 100 percent correct. We've got four extensions. That's why I said I was excited about this. Now, I might have to move these little guys around. Uh, they are also in 
some toolbox widgets do a nice job. They're just kind of, you don't, if you just stand here, like you never see that. You kind of have to like lean up and over type of a deal. That's uh, not a bad place to put your good ratchets. If you got some coworkers that are always borrowing your stuff, uh, that are going to have to like lean in and look, right? So keep that in mind. Pro tip there. <laughs> so this is what this looks like right now. This is nothing fancy. This is just a cheap Pittsburgh set. But if I were to pull everything, let's give you a look at what the toolbox widgets would be like. And this is not comparing just yet. We're just kind of showcasing what I had. So that's like my custom setup. Again, this little piece here is one of these spacers, which I just did to kind of keep that stubby guy up. Let's now switch to the tool guitar. Oh yeah, pretty nice, right? So obviously we had to relocate a few items, but we have our long extension up at the top. We've got the next one, then we've got the short one, then we've got the stubby. The thing that I can tell you and what I alluded to on the bench is like, if you love this setup, let's say that you've got like a 8, 10, and 12, and an 18, okay? And you might have this positioned here, kind of at the end of this extension, but you might want another four piece like somewhere in the middle. Uh, some of you might just want to individualize this like the toolbox widget. You might want to come in and like stick one here at the end, the extremity. That's where you would kind of have to think out, plot and plan what you've got, what you plan to do, where you plan to put it and kind of go to town. Now the footprint is roughly the same. Now note, I'm not having to run since this has that, you know, edge printed. I don't have to worry about like the finish of the box. I don't have to run these spacers, which I don't have to do. It's just, I have them and I never know what to do with them and it's functional that way. Uh, but like this would be the form factor for four of the toolbox widgets. And it's slightly more compact, but that's only because of the wall. And really, yeah, it's, it's roughly, it's negligible, but I mean like if you're trying to cram it in, there is probably like, you know, that quarter of an inch you're gonna have to contend with. Uh, my biggest knock, you know, I would say just maybe if they had more options where you'd save a little bit of money, like if you wanted to put your short extension, a mid-size, and like two long ones, and you wanted to have this support bar, another one, or like a little two-piece, or, you know, two standalone, or something. Uh, just something where you can kind of package it together and save, I think, would be cool. But uh, what we're going to do now, you might recall, we had that orange one. And if you're thinking like, hey, I wonder if that goes over here. And you said it was for stubbies. Well, it does. It's going to go with our little stubby icon. So I'm going to go ahead. And uh, you're sadly probably going to know about those now way ahead of the tool haul for them. But hey, well, benefits for you watching this, I guess. So I'll grab that, get the wrenches pulled out, and we will check it out. I'll also let you know, in a video I edited last night, I had this rigid fan running over here because it's hot in the shop. It's like 90 some odd degrees. It was stupid loud. Uh, so I'm sweating my butt off. Again, it's pretty much what I've done all day. Because uh, I'm not running the fan for video purposes. So, that's it. This is a seven-piece Icon Stubby Wrench Set. And if you're like, wow, that takes up a lot of space. I agree. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to take the cover off and we're going to rehome these suckers. We're just going to throw it up here for aesthetic purposes. But, I told you, if you note, we've got that little Inkzall Sharpie knockoff from Milwaukee. I told you you could black this out, right? And what I've done is a varying degree of things. So 3 quarter, 11 sixteenths, and 5 eighths, I just totally blacked them out uh, using that very marker that you see there. Obviously down there, 3 eighths, I did nothing. 7 sixteenths, I just did the slash uh, for the fraction. Half inch, we did the slash and the 2. And then 9 sixteenths, I did the 9 in front of the 16. That's just so you can kind of see this. Obviously, I think, you know, like with me tilting this around, you can tell like there's... 9 16 you can kind of see that 16 there obviously with the black it stands out quite a bit better so uh, that's not something they do they just kind of print these if you want them done this way you can some people may not want them done they can leave them as is uh, it's definitely something i think i'm gonna do could you paint it yeah is there a better finish probably can you touch it back up with a sharpie yeah you can but for all intents and purposes, this is going to work great. So uh, what I will do is slide this off. Keep in mind, this is kind of difficult with one hand. <laughs> we'll just start throwing these suckers down, kind of get you a feel for it. Uh, I do want to highlight before I do that, there are four magnets. Now, if you're thinking like, okay, four magnets, how strong is that? Well, if I take you over here, try not to spoil too much going on there. It sticks, but I mean, it's not going to hold anything vertically. This is strictly a situation where you would be applying this 
uh, to kind of keep it in place when you open and close a drawer or maybe when you roll the cart around in certain situations like that. So uh, 11 sixteenths is going to go in place, three quarter, grab the five eighths there, or nine sixteenths. Again, this is, I can't use the tripod here, it's just not tall enough, <laughs> sadly. Seven sixteenths, and the last one, I'll get you from start to finish with the three eighths. Let's get this massive tray out of here. Some people prefer the tray, some people like them. It's cool it's included, I'm not going to knock that. But, uh, the color, do I want orange or do I want like burgundy? I'm going to go this route. And also, it's just the space savings, right? I mean, that's insane seeing this that's like literally, you know, like a span of my fingers, a couple of sockets. Uh, I mean, geez, you know, it's like going to be four toolbox widgets wide versus this, right? So where's our tool organizer wrench rack? It's under there. It's in the middle now. It's on the end. It's like a third of the space, and it's the exact same seven wrenches, so... I'm pretty content with that. If you can pick it up, you can throw it down. I can tell you the one knock I would have with this is that, you know, like the three quarter wrench is hitting the box. I kind of might prefer this to where it's thicker at the base, right? Where it could kind of elevate the ends off of the box. I could see it going both ways. It's probably not worth their time to manufacture both. But having the thicker base that would lift the wrench up, then they would kind of all orient the same way. But uh, you could totally pick this up and move it around if you wanted to. It's not going to be as like solid of an option as like say a gripper from Ernst or something. Uh, but like if you wanted to take these from your cart to your workbench, it's like well, you can. And as long as you keep them upright, you're not going to have that happen. Uh, the individual slots, there's no magnet thing happening there. It's just the wrench goes in and it's it's there. Keep in mind, like, is this perfectly fit for the icons? No. I don't know what size or what type of wrench they base this on, but they probably standardized it, right? If they wanted to make this for a pretty thin wrench, that's cool. Those people are going to be happy, but then if you buy it, you're not going to be able to fit your old Craftsman. Similarly, if they made it for, like, a modern snap-on, Maybe a guy's old raised panel craftsman don't fit. So that's where, you know, it is kind of, you know, it's a situation where if you have a three quarter inch wrench, pretty much everybody's going to fit in this. Now, is it going to be the perfect fit that some of you might want? Probably not, but, you know, there's a flip side to this. If you get burned out on your icons and you want to swap this over to SK or Snap-on or Mac or whatever, if you want to throw some style villas in it, you can totally do that, and you're going to be home free. You're not going to have to, like, go purchase another one. So keep that in mind. But uh, there those two are side by side. or kind of catty corner to one another. I got to say, they look pretty good here, again, in the uh, orange U.S. General Master Tech. So that is two of our items. Let's now go grab... Let's go with the uh, lime green Stavilla stuff. Let's do that and see what we think of it. Oh yeah, never gets, I need to try a tub of towels on that because man, I clean some nasty stuff with tub of towels. <laughs> the cleaner handles here on the ratchets and you'll note everything's kind of like similar lengths here between these two tools and breaker bar and stuff. This one right here though, it's kind of like an odd duck, right? The quarters are here together, but then this one is just sort of like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm doing my own thing. So, what we're gonna do is pull his toolbox widget. We'll temporarily place it here along with these. And we just need to kind of position this guy. And uh, let's see, I almost did that perfectly, by the way. We'll kick it out just a little bit. <laughs> so, there we go, we got it in place. I want to slide it over just a tad, and I'm technically not using this. And with the padded handle on the Stavilla, that's doing a really nice job for me. But I guess what we would do, again, my apologies, the tripod's just a little too short here. We can throw this down back here, and that kind of puts it at, oh yeah, about the perfect height. So, is it a perfect color match? No. <laughs> But it does look pretty good. I know there's a lot of you like sublime, lime green, neon green people out there. And that's basically what this would do. So in instances like this, what I've done with the toolbox widget works really well. But in instances like this, where it's kind of like, this is a lone ranger, right? We got these little 
quarter drive and the bit driver and then you got all these that are kind of equal lengths or similar lengths it's this sort of not quite as tall and not near as short <laughs> and this comes in super handy uh, another one over there on the Hazette side obviously green's not the color but it would work uh, I've got this SK and Koken up there and they're just sort of kind of not ideally positioned the granted they're quarter drive but I assume it would work um, but this is just again where you kind of have to map out what you've got and what you're going to do but this gives you a quick feel for what the ratchet extensions and holders would be like from the organizer all right this is just an example we've got the blue v style ones at the base of the ratchet in the middle and then up at the top holding it funkily because again uh, that's a square drive and that is not that's one thing you could do with it let me throw something else to get all right so here's another example we've got the classic lovable uh, vha 3 case here you can just kind of custom configure it for whatever driver you've got if that's not your cup of tea you could potentially come in uh, with an extension or something along those lines and kind of set up your own type of a setup it can serve as an intermediary so like with our extensions uh, that I was complaining about you know I'm like what if somebody had a really long one and they were limited to the four piece you know it's got two components and they wanted like a support piece in the middle or one at the end you could get these strung out across in the back and in the middle your points of choice basically so you kind of get a feel for what these can do it's just sort of a jack of all trades if you like. all right and here is kind of a good look at a whole uh, VCAL 3k assortment uh, populated in this six piece holder you got three to one side three to the other sort of staggered fit just like you would do with like a rail or something uh, this is just happens to be like tray format so the trade-off just like it would be with a rail or whatever you're currently using your biggest driver here obviously that's going to be your limiting point because once we hit this point i can't push this back any farther uh, we technically could but then we start tilting you start getting funky arrangements in your box it's kind of a catch-22 what do you prefer how do you need it oriented uh, obviously this is kind of an outlier but it gives you a feel for like what a big shaft would do uh, some of these fit like perfect to a T uh, some of these bigger handles you know like you can only get a segment of them in there but uh, that is sort of how that one checks out right now I'll go ahead and switch a few items around and we'll see what we think of it then all right so here's just another layout for you let's say that you kind of got this in a finite precision drawer you get run picks you could run precision drivers basically whatever you need I will say they do make a smaller screwdriver holder that's kind of designed for again precision drivers or picks in that case uh, they fit decently here it's just obviously the kick up on the pick end you know it's kind of gonna change the orientation you might have to flip it around or you might have to have it sit funky just sort of depends uh, right here this uh, number one Phillips fit really well and then we've got the big all here dead gum that stabbed me pretty good uh, it's a little dirty but it fits that's a big big handle on that trilobe design and as you can see that uh, just kind of drops in like a glove so sort of again the sky is the limit with what you want to do they are available individually as well but again whatever you want to do you can make it happen uh, these little organizers over here we got our little bonnie i mean drop that sucker down like if we had some like makeshift nut drivers type of a thing uh, again just whatever you want to try out that'll fit there it can pretty much happen with that screwdriver organizer this isn't a glitch it's the big reveal i said we weren't going to do this we we're just going to go straight to the point and then i thought man you know i'd really kind of like to have all this stuff together to kind of showcase it in the thumbnail well there's your reveal <laughs> so uh, i gotta say individually i was pretty pleased with the stuff seeing it all together i'm pretty happy with it as well i found a couple of things to mention number one i went ahead i blacked everything out it's way way visible i mean now you're able to read it from here zero issues big numbers easy visibility that's the way i like it simple to do i'm not the greatest in terms of art uh, including things like that but we got it done <laughs> um this is how I wanted it. I wanted three eighths to three quarter bottom to top. If you are the opposite or if you want several of these and you're going to have your metric right beside this and you want like your 19 at the bottom, your seven at the top, you can choose that as an option. If there's something that you don't see or you're unsure of, shoot them an email, uh, send them a message, they'll get back to you. 
Coming in up here, I would prefer to have this oriented with the shorts here and the long here, but for staging this thumbnail, I just couldn't fit it, so that's why it's kind of backwards from my typical setup. This is, in fact, a six-piece Torx driver set. Uh, as mentioned, your kind of big handles aren't like a great fit, but they do fit. Obviously, like your sweet spot, this is like ideal. I mean, that's about as perfect a fit as you could hope to get. The small ones, you know, it's a little small. This is like chef's kiss perfect <laughs> right uh, so keep that in mind however you want to stage it whatever you've got and then coming over here i said you know this case kind of a darker green so style villa but they're the two green i guess technically hayco but i don't have a 3 8 hayco so I threw those down as well the biggest issue i have found in terms of staging this is right down here this is a quarter drive bonnie extension this is the little uh four had a pack of four this is obviously only two of them and what I'm thinking might be an issue, it's happening here definitively. I feel like if this was on a drawer with a liner, it would do the same thing. So let's say that we grab our quarter drive Heiko and we want to go to town and I'm like, oh, I just need the extension. So <laughs> the magnets are pretty good. I mean, obviously that's why they're there, right? But it's a situation where, let me get over here off the mat to the straight steel. I will say that's holding uh, right off. I mean, if I lift this mat up, you know, I've got like steel down here. So let me showcase this one to you. Pay attention to this bottom corner. Uh, it just came off of the business side. So now we're going to have the socket side. If this was just in place and I'm like, well, let me grab my Bonnie extension. Boom. There it is. Right. So case in point, I'll get that where you can sort of see it better. <laughs> and see what I mean? Like it's pulling it. You can definitely feel it come down to the magnet, but it is staying on the table. Now that said, this mat is pretty thick, so if you had a thick drawer liner or a mat like this on a workstation, you might run the risk of having that happen. A minor inconvenience, if you're aware of it, you'll just simply prevent it. Uh, but it is worth mentioning, I felt, so that's really the only negative thus far. Uh, price point, I'm going to tell you, I think everything could be cheaper. <laughs> You know, that's that's across the board. Doesn't matter how much I like it or dislike it. I'm like, well, that could probably be cheaper. I think this is kind of fair if you know what you're doing. Again, as I stated, you don't want to go about buying this blindly. If you love this ratchet holder, don't go in and think, oh, you know, hey, I'm going to color code my uh, quarter, three-eighths, and a half-inch drive, and but I want all my lock and flex heads to be purple. That is something else I want to mention. I don't know if I have. They have a nice selection of colors. You're not stuck with black and red. You're not stuck with red and blue or black. You want orange. You want green. I think there's purple. There's yellow. Uh, a litany of colors. I have the website linked. Again, I make nothing off of this solely for your convenience. Play around with it, see what you like. But again, it, it's all options. You know, like you could do all your 3H drive ratchets are going to be lime green. All your half inch is blue, all of your quarter is orange. If you want to do that, you can. But like I said, buy one set. Like 3 8 is your bread and butter, buy the 3 8 see if you really like it, and then come back in with the massive order. Uh, same thing, you know, like if you think, dude, I'm going to, I've got like, 45 drivers in my screwdriver drawer of hex phillips posi slotted specialty everything i'm i'm getting like six or seven of these trays going to town get one first make sure you like it and that's just common sense and practical stuff right um the other thing i want to highlight this is sort of what i mentioned here where all this stuff is pretty much available standalone or in four packs with something like this you know where we've got super stubby stubby to the point you wonder why that's included and then you know decent size and then long right we don't have the super long extension with this pittsburgh set but like if you were a guy that had super long extensions for certain applications you might want to when you order think about that and say hey i want to pick up a standalone slot out here and then i want a two slot or I guess I have to have four with a dead space or I can use these on the flip side, you know, for Chrome extensions. You kind of have to play with this stuff and see what you like and then you can kind of plan it out the best for you. So this gives you a good guideline, sort of some things to visualize and think about, but ultimately 
bring the stuff in, play with it, and then fully customize it to your heart's desire, right? Maybe wait for a sale, but fully customize it to your heart's desire. So like with this, I would kind of have this almost nested here, even though it's, this does a really good job of holding these. I was pretty, pretty pleased there. Uh, there's just way more material than the toolbox widget. It's not a funky angle. That works really good as is, but I might like the four right there butted up against it and then i might want another one here and then i might just want like an extremity here type of a thing right and then maybe we add one on on this end here here in line with this one and way down same thing with this maybe it's a situation where you want your stubbies at the bottom of the drawer and you want your standard length at the top you can do that if you've got like full size wrenches or extended length wrenches it might be a deal where you don't like how the wrench is oriented in the holder. You might want to buy two of them. And it would be the same wrench. You just have offset over here and offset over here. And then the long wrench runs through it and it just supports it better. So there's like a litany of things you can play around with and test. It's all personal preference. The colors are super nice to have options with. Um, if you want other colors, again, this is something just like throw it back at them. I'm sure if enough people say, hey, you know, you need to make emerald green, you know, it's probably something they're like, oh, well, do we? And they'll maybe run a poll or, you know, like ask people, email out. And I guess if enough people want it, they'll make it happen, right? So that's one of the really cool things about dealing with a small business. Uh, they're way more generally, way more receptive to like customer feedback or critiques, you know. Uh, like if I said, man, you know, these jumbo trilobes just don't fit well. I mean, I'd be like, hey, you know, we've never had one of those. They might go buy one or say, hey, you know, where'd you get that? Can you send it to me? And maybe they customize one. Same thing like with the picks. Was it their idea? Was it the customer? Who knows? But it's generally a deal where you can kind of hit them up. They're excited to have the business. They appreciate the business. You're dealing direct with the people to manufacture it. Uh, so like if you wanted weird sizes here if you need 25 30 seconds or something like you could probably tell them you know you might have to pay for it but it's you can at least ask you can at least broach the subject and that's something that i think you have to appreciate with small businesses so um it might be a total pain in the butt for them they might not want to do it but i guess you know if the customer pays you know and it makes you happy hey who knows that guy with 25 30 seconds might turn out to be a huge customer you just never know so uh, with that said, I'm I'm pretty happy with everything we brought in. Don't exactly know where all of it's going to go. This is pretty much, I think, a done deal. The space savings of this versus that case that I'm not really a huge... It's not terrible. I'm glad it was included, but, like, this is more me, right? Uh, the toolbox widgets did a good job with the extensions. This is just kind of possibly the perfect solution. Socket organizers, I know some of you will be like, yeah, you could use that. Well, then you've got to have them in like a top drawer that's open air, right? Because you've got super tall extensions. I have so many screwdriver options. This is another one to throw in. <laughs> and I gotta say, depending on what we're doing and where we're doing it, this might be up our alley. Uh, same thing with the ratchets. I've toolbox widgets have been doing pretty good for me there. Uh, there's things I like about those, things I don't like about them. But uh, I'm sure it'd kind of be the same thing here. I do sort of wish these would nest together, although full modular that's that's really the selling point of these and toolbox widget is full modular i don't have to deal with somebody else's pre-selected parameters you know um, i will tell you tool organizer does do socket stuff that's uh, nothing i brought in maybe at some point we'll test it out especially if some of y'all are curious about it but uh, it's sort of like a tool grid style right um so the main thing, you know, just play around on the website, check it out. There's a ton to see. Like I said, one of the one of the reasons I contacted them was broaching about, you know, like, hey, would you ever do like Hercules batteries? And you know, that's something they definitely want to do. I guess they're just like slammed, and haven't been able to make happen. Uh, that's something you might see in the future on the channel. But <laughs> uh, that's about it, man. I don't want to ramble on too long, but this is just some really nice eye candy for those of you like ocd organization people wanting to get organized see if you can save some time this is a legit option i'm just gonna say that so um will this be your favorite screwdriver holder possibly will you hate the ratchets compared to brand x possibly is there a better wrench holder for you than this one yeah i mean everyone's gonna be different you know, some people, it might be all mechanics time savers. Some people are all earned. Some people might be all tool organizer. Uh, some of you might be all tool grid. 
a lot of people that are going to be like a mix of everything. Car just timed that on me, but for certain things, like some people will just be a wild mix. Now, in addition to the car timing, how we got the battery light flashes, it's probably a sign. Since it is about 10.30, I should get in, work out, shower, wake up, and repeat my amazing day. Millions of people depend on you, right? So uh, with that said, this is our first look at Toolganizer. I think it's uh, pretty promising, something we might uh, sort of expand on in the future. I take my own advice to heart, too. This is me bringing this in, testing it, playing with it, and now I kind of sit back, feel it out, figure out what I want, where I want it, and then we'll eventually make it all happen. So... And I'll also, yes, be waiting for a sale. I don't just say these things, I practice them myself. But uh, with that said, let me know your thoughts on this, especially if you've used Toolganizer. How do you like it? Where are you using it? How does it compare to whatever other brands you've used in the past? If this is your first time seeing it, what are your thoughts? Uh, with that said, LoneStarMopars.com is the website. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all three at LoneStarMopars.com. If you enjoyed the video, I encourage you to leave a like. If you like a lot of the stuff I do here, I encourage you to subscribe. New videos every Wednesday and Saturday. That said, we got like four seconds. Have a fantastic weekend.